Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Jimmy comes in with a question we get asked all the time. Ryzen 7 versus i7. Comparing performance, which is faster? Um, well, it's complicated. Well, he's actually asking, he's got a 20 to 30 frames per second difference in games between a Ryzen 7 2700X with a 2060 with 16 gigs of RAM and an i7 8750H, which is a laptop. It's got a GTX 1070 with eight gigs, max Q, 12 gigs of RAM. And he wants to know why is there such a difference? Well, for those of you who clicked on this wanting to know what the heck we're on about, stop trying to compare completely incompatible platforms that have absolutely positively nothing to do with each other. It's like comparing apples and bananas. It's like comparing apples and sausages. It's <laughs> <laughs> How about apples and houses? I... How about GPUs and shoes? So Jimmy has a Ryzen 7 2700X Zen Plus desktop chip, eight core, 16 threads, good CPU, good CPU. And he's got an RTX 2060 in there. Good graphics card, 16 gigs of RAM. Okay, huh, I'd rather have 32, but we're not getting into that conversation. And he's got a laptop like this one right here, with an i7-8750H, which is a six core, 12 thread, 45 watt TDP performance laptop chip, but not the same as a performance desktop chip, with a GTX 1070 Max-Q. Now the Max-Q actually means it's slower than a normal 1070. Yeah, because it's a laptop. Well, no, but it's slower than a 1070 laptop is normally. Yeah, the max. The max Q is is actually down, yeah. max should really be the minimum Q. Yes. Not it's a trick. Yes. Just like Q from the Ma next generation. Ma max is max is deceptive is advertising. Not a it's not a good word. And he's got uh, 12 gigs of RAM in there, but it's configured as eight plus four, meaning it's not really in dual channel mode. Oh. So the fact that it's 20 to 30 frames per second difference. Um, no kidding. Notice he didn't even say which one was faster. Nor do I care. You're you're not You're comparing a gaming PC to a laptop. It's those aren't comparable items. That you know what that's like? That's like saying Should I buy a Honda Civic or a Ford F-150 pickup truck? Which do you need? They, they're they both vehicles. They both have four wheels and an engine. They both have transmissions. They both go from A to B. They both have steering wheels. They're both automobiles. But it starts... I mean, that's... If you were to do a, like a, a... See, if you do a comparison between like a Chevy Silverado and an F-150, fair enough. If you do a comparison between a Toyota Corolla and a Honda Civic, fair enough. But a Honda Civic and an F-150, what? what? Well, he wants to know- Pick what, what you need. Look, if you need a laptop, then, lap then look at laptops. Now, if you want to compare a Ryzen laptop to an Intel laptop, we can have that conversation. If you want to compare a Ryzen desktop to an Intel desktop, we can have that conversation. But comparing a desktop to a laptop is missing the point. This is a portable device filled with compromises to fit into a sub 10 pound package with a different pricing structure and a lack of upgrades. If you need this, then the Ryzen 7 2700X might as well not exist. If you don't need this, why are we discussing it? It's like if somebody said, I need an inexpensive commuting vehicle because I've got a 45 mile commute. I, I live in the outskirts of town and I have to drive to, to downtown every day. And so I need something fuel efficient. Should I buy a Honda Civic or an F-150 pickup truck with four wheel drive? Uh, oh, okay, <laughs> you just answered your question. Exactly. I, why are, well, he wants to know why. There's lots of reasons, the CPU, the graphics card, the RAM, I mean, there's 
all the reasons. I'll bet you I could find games that that Intel laptop would be faster in, and then I could find games that the Ryzen 7 desktop would be faster in. Probably. They're, they're different because they're completely different machines, and comparing them is, I mean, don't. All day long, I'm happy to compare desktop to desktop, desktop graphics card, desktop graphics card. But PC... We're covering this because I, I, I think this probably happens more than we even hear. I suspect that Jimmy is not the only person to compare, well, I found this desktop and I found this laptop, which should I buy? And the real point of this is to say, do you need a laptop? Then compare laptops. <laughs> then you need to buy a laptop. And if you don't need a laptop, stop looking at laptops. Buy a desktop. Compare desktops. Because for, for, for so many reasons beyond the straight specs and performance, a, a desktop will be eminently upgradable. Faster CPU, more RAM, different graphics card, add more storage. A laptop is kind of... It's just there. It's just there. You'd be lucky if you can put some more RAM in it without having to pull it all apart. This is true. So that's our take on Jimmy's question, which is probably not what some people were expecting but I hope it was helpful to at least a few of you. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.